Hello, my name is Shane O'Neill, and I took Dr. Jacob's Physics II summer class at Sussex County Community College, and I'm here to talk about some of the things I learned and some of the things I would like to learn more about. Uh, some of these things that we did get to learn about were quantum theory, and one of the things I really wanted to learn more about was quantum tunnel learning, which is when the electrons are allowed to pass through an object, which something like that can be used for in the future, maybe teleportation, if we find a way to get our own uh, particles to be able to pass through an object that those kinds of speeds would be amazing. Uh, some other things that we looked at were electrical forces and how electrical forces are just everywhere and everything creates these electrical forces that can be experienced. Um, one thing that I would like to have learned more about uh, with the quantum uh, tunnel and stuff and other types of things through quantum theory would have been just some of the ideas and some of the things that you get to, to experience through it. Uh, when you were going over in class, some of the stuff was really confusing and I just felt like it was just way too much in just a short amount of time. I would have loved to have spread that out longer and see what that was like. Uh, some other things we did get to learn about were the photoelectric effect, which is when light rays shoot photons onto a metal sheet, causing the uh, electrons to get kinetic energy from the photons and bounce into different directions off of the metal plate. Some experiments that we got to do that were a lot of fun were uh, ones with lenses and mirrors. And through this, we got to set up all different types of uh, lenses and uh, some of the lenses we used were concave, convex, and double uh, con convex lenses. And through this, we were able to trace the light rays that were coming off of it. Some other things that we got to look at with that lab were what happens between the different lenses and how in a convex lens the light is more focused towards the center because of the fact that there's a convergent lens which means that all rays that pass through it will go to a single focal point. And some other thing with the con uh, cave lenses is that they get dispersed because they're divergent, so all light gets diverged into different directions. Uh, one of the other experiments that we got to do was with bar magnets. And we got to see what happens to the magnetic field of an object as opposed to that with the Earth's magnetic field. So in that experiment, we found out where the uh, magnetic field of the Earth is, and we put up a bar magnet and a compass. And as the compass got closer to the bar magnet, the magnetic force of the bar magnet was stronger than that of the Earth, causing the needle from the compass to move more towards the magnet than it does to the Earth's actual magnetic field. Uh, some other things that we did get a look at with the magnet was uh, electromagnets. We got to do these through simulations because we didn't have the materials that we needed at the school. So we had to do a simulation on it. And we got to see how the electricity going through uh, copper, uh, like uh, copper loops, can create a magnetic field that is able to change the direction of the uh, compass needle as well. And that will have a different magnetic field than that of a bar magnet. Some other things we got to look at were the structure of an atom. And we only did a little bit with that, but I would love to have learned more. But we got to go over some of the basics of it. Like, what, how do you determine uh, which atom you're looking at? And how to figure out the number of neutrons and uh, protons in the atom. Uh, some things that were kind of disappointing with the school. That we, had, that we were at was the fact that a lot of the materials we had were either broken or just old and didn't work and some of the labs we couldn't even do because of the fact that we didn't have the materials we needed which was kind of upsetting because some of these labs would have been fun if the materials we had actually worked so that's some of the things that I would love to have improved with the labs but you know, that's what happens when you go to SCC so that's what you're stuck with. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned a lot from it. Uh, have a good one.